ignorance is bliss. It's a it's a phrase I've thought about a lot. You know, I thought about it a lot as a kid and never really made sense to me. I was like, why would you be happier being stupid? Um, but uh, for today's video, I don't necessarily want to talk too much about that, but about, let's suppose for a second, suppose that uh, knowledge and happiness are mutually exclusive. If If you want to be happy, then you must be ignorant of the truth, and and if you want to know the truth, then um, you can't be happy. Uh, so, which one would I rather have? If I had to choose being right, like knowing knowing the truth, not necessarily being right in the sense of yes, I won the argument and I always win arguments. I love to win arguments, but that's not the point. The point is actually knowing what is right and what is wrong. Okay, suppose that I had to choose between being right and being happy. Which one would I choose? Uh, and and that's something to think about yourself. Which one would you choose? Would you rather be happy or would you rather be right? Me personally, I'd rather be right. I would rather know what is true. I would rather know what is right and what is wrong than to be happy in a delusion, in a lie. Um, for, for example, if I went to the doctor, the doctor found out that I had cancer, uh, you know, I might be happier, I might be happier if the doctor lies to me and says I'm perfectly healthy and then I go about my way and I'm, and I'm happy and I don't know what's going on. Um, but I would rather know the truth. I would rather know that I have cancer. I would rather <laughs> know <laughs> what's going on, what the doctor found, even though that might that might decrease my happiness. That might make it more difficult for me to be happy. It might make it harder for me to stay positive. Um, I'd rather know the truth. And so... Uh, that that's my answer, and I think it applies in in everything. I would rather I would rather know what is true. I'd rather know what is right, and risk a loss of happiness than to cling to ignorance uh, in in the name of being happy. Um, and and that's that's actually one big reason why I started investigating. Um, the doctrines and history of the Mormon Church is because I would rather be right. I would rather know for sure what happened in the past and, and whether the LDS Church really is a true church and whether what they say is really true or not. I would rather know all of that than live my whole life as a Mormon, being happy as a Mormon, uh, and having it all be a lie. And I, and I'll be honest, I was very happy as a Mormon. I know a lot of ex-Mormons say that they weren't happy in the church. Some people say they were miserable in the church. I I wasn't miserable. Yeah, I, w I was sexually repressed. I was hiding my own sexual feelings because the church didn't want me to uh, have those sexual feelings. But I wasn't miserable. Yeah, I feel far more fulfilled now, actually, fulfilling my sexual needs and, and having a sexual partner that I'm sexually attracted to, yes, I feel much better. But I wouldn't I wouldn't classify my time as a Mormon as, as miserable. I, I found it to be enjoyable. I was happy being a Mormon. I really was happy. And the thing is, I'm a lot happier now. I really and I'm a happy guy. And the thing is you don't have to be ignorant in order to be happy. Uh, as, as far as I'm concerned, happiness is a choice. Yeah, okay, there are people that are clinically depressed. Their brain just does not produce the endorphins needed to make them happy naturally. Okay, that's a different story. But if, if you have a, a, a brain that produces normal amounts of all the chemicals that brains produce, happiness is a choice. You want to be happy, you choose to be happy. Um, Horrible, terrible things are happening in your life and in the world. 
you can still choose to be happy. And wonderful, amazing, glorious, enjoyable things are happening in your life. You can still choose to be miserable, even though all this wonderful stuff's happening. And so, really, happiness is a choice. You want, you want to be happy, be happy. And that's how I am. I want to be happy. I like being happy, so I'm happy. I, I, uh, I'm cheerful. I like my life. I have a really good life. I have a good husband, uh, a very nice, handsome man by my side. Uh, I love my school, you know, my school work, that is, uh, math, not the university particularly. I don't have any special feelings there, but math. I love my career. I, I love the prospect of being a math professor for the rest of my life. I'm happy. I have so many reasons to be happy. Uh, but uh, I would give up all of that happiness if it meant that I would be learning truth that right now I don't know and I wouldn't be able to know without giving up the happiness. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying to me it's more important to have knowledge because knowledge is power. With with knowledge, you can you can do things. With with math, you can build buildings and and huge structures and know how to support them properly. You can build rocket ships that fly to the moon. Uh, you can do all sorts of amazing things with knowledge, and and I'm happier with knowledge than ignorant. Um, that's all I have to say today.